Maybe it stopped when I started authenticating. Okay. I just I, I figured, will, you know. I will almost promise you that the maximum of three people I should look at this at any time. Sure. No, that's fine. Yeah. Just. Well, I'm going to before you all die, send a copy. All. Send a copy to my kids, okay? Because <laughs> they will never look at it. And it may be the only place my grandkids will remember hearing my voice. So, you know, it's one. Of the, it's one of the things I. I'm disappointed. That there's. I don't have thing. I don't have my parents' recordings of my parents. I know my yeah. sister there's did one interviews. There's mother on YouTube. On my YouTube. The recording stories and stuff. Yeah, I that. asked her questions. I did an interview. Hmm. Huh. That's okay. Cool. cool. That's good. Yeah, there are. Now you can have Alexa use that voice if you just play it. <laughs> That's the voice they're used to hearing. <laughs> Deborah, I can hear that. <laughs> no, Deborah. Deborah Susanna Bella French. Oh. And, and the hackles rise up on your neck and you come to attention, right? My name is Sue. Sue, huh? But if I was like up in my bedroom, it was, I, I think it was her way of counting to 10 and giving me time to get front and center. <laughs> It may well have been. It may well have been. It worked. I know I had I had my way from three boys. And when my kids start yelling out there, they just look at my smile. <laughs> Grin. Um so illustrations. I'll go back first of all to the ones that come out of your own life are key. They will carry the most weight. The ones that come out of the church's life will carry the next most weight. It's not that you're burying, uh, you're burying your life to everybody, but you are recommending, you're recognizing stuff that's gone on with you that is true from Scripture, uh, and um, you know what you can and can't share, and you know how much that's going to be positive, how much that's going to be negative. Those are choices the Holy Spirit will need you to make. If the, He leads you to make one of those, do it, just because it's going to be. A lot more powerful than something you picked up out of a guidepost. Which, by the way, you will not see ever posted on this. A guidepost is not one of my go to sources at all. Uh, that or, um, there's another one online I get every, every day or every week or so, and I don't look at that much anymore. So, um, pay attention to what God is doing in your life. If you need to go back to journaling like we did on the 50 Day Spiritual Adventures, journal. Your, your, um, situations your your god sightings and stuff by the way when i leave here all the old 50-day spiritual adventures mm -hmm. will be on my bookcase in there the advent ones and the regular ones that gives you eight a series of eight passages you can use you can't buy the ancillary stuff you can't get the journals anymore or that stuff but you have and i don't think anybody's given them the rights to, to anybody the rights to to produce them themselves, but mm -hmm. you you still have that as a resource with the, the, the sample sermons and the passages and the, the direction it's going and the flow of it. It's a great resource. It's always been a good resource. Use it, okay? And if Sharon and Mike aren't here, most of you won't remember it. Mm -hmm. Sharon is the one that got me got started on that. And I'm so thankful that she did because that was that's been a uh, it was a real a real good experience. So um, other illustrations, TV, movies, and the like. Um, to this day, the the Bruce Almighty series th scene where he is telling God he wants a sign, and the truck pulls out in front of him with all these signs, stop, do not enter, go back, you know, dead end, all this stuff, you know, and he's just praying for a sign, I'm going, how many times has that been me? <laughs> when he throws the phone away and it's broken and he comes back to it's still ringing, you know, I mean, when God wants to get a hold of you, God will get a hold of you, just, you know, make sure that you, you take your feet, your shoes off in front of the burning bush, <laughs> yeah, because he's going to talk to you, he's going to talk to you. Sometimes he says things you don't want to hear. Uh, my dear, my dear friend Mike Jensen used to say, 
God is going to conform you into the image of Christ. He may drag you kicking and screaming, but he's going to conform you into the image of Christ. Can't agree with that more. I, uh, Cokesbury um, is UMC, United Methodist Church. They have all kinds of worship resources, and they run the gamut from eco nutcases to, sorry if you're involved in that, but eco, uh, eco nutcases to uh, African conservative uh, apost uh, apostolic type churches. So, I mean, they run, the, the Methodist Church are probably the largest tent out there as far as theology it covers. It's just really off the floor. Did you place. say this is Methodist? Methodist, yeah. Oh, you said United Church of Christ. No, Methodist. Yeah, Methodist. United Methodist. Okay. Yeah. UCC is, is that way too, but they're mostly over on this yeah. side. <laughs> the Christian Church, which broke off of them, they're over on this side. Mm -hmm. And uh, neither one of them is fine. But uh, yeah, so Cokesbury is the, the publishing art for them. They have a lot of resources. Uh, ministrymatters.com. I I have, a I have a prescription. I have a subscription to that. Just because I'm going to do searches by um, by passage, and it gives you um, like I do searches by the I'm preaching lectionary. I do searches by the date, and then it gives you passages and, and understandings and thoughts and call to worships and prayers of confession and and all that sort of stuff. And I never use those things. Wrote once in a while, I may use call to worship because it comes out of the Psalms. But oh, okay. I, I never do. I oftentimes in the lectionary, I'll look to the Psalms for my call to worship. Okay. So uh, I can do more about that one too. About um, note to myself. Yeah, I was, I was, I made myself a list of quote unquote deliverables that somebody who's preaching here needs to right. need to be ready to prepare because you may be able to write a speech, but you might be. Your scheduling, my, I was thinking for myself, my scheduling would be off if I was, I, if I forgot to prepare a call to worship, uh, select scripture. Uh, I'll do a thing on production of the balls and production of worship. Yeah. Service. The invocation, although that's because lay leaders have done it for literally the better part of half a century or ever. Yes, and, and some have done an excellent job. Yeah. And others have gone. I can do that. No, no, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't pray a normal prayer, please, because we only have 50 minutes here. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And then uh, a selection of uh, benediction, benediction and the going out song. Yeah. Um, just Recent. personal, personal situation for me. If you lead in prayer, and you just, you know, it's off the cuff type thing. You don't have a prepared prayer and stuff, which I do occasionally, not a lot. God knows his name. Mm -hmm. He knows he's Lord. So you don't have to say, dear Lord, before every sentence. He doesn't have to become the spiritual um right. of your speaking. Just, you know, for what it's I worth. Would, just, I would even go so far as to say is, it's a prayer, not a spell. <laughs> it's a prayer, not a spell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had never used that, but yeah, that's a good one. It's a prayer, yeah. not a spell. <laughs> one of the guys from Vineyard talking about healing, he says, he thought that for a long time you had to say Jesus in just the right way to get healed. Like, Jesus! You, know, you had to have a <laughs> long E there in order to get him to listen to you and heal somebody. And I said, found it didn't work, but yeah, you know, it's, a spell. it's not a spell. It's, it's, it's a prayer. Yeah. You're talking to your dad. You don't say, oh, Father, every two sentences. Your dad would say, I know who I am! What do you want now? What did you do? Those are the, <laughs> what do you want? What did you do? Those are the two questions most dads ask their kids when they come in like that. Um, so, uh, Mr. Man, I will try to do a thing on preparing. What, what do you have to do to prepare a bulletin? Because the sermon is actually only part of worship. I mean, it's not, it's not all of it. Okay, so right. um, one of the reasons why you'll see hymnary.com. You, you look there. You use that already, don't yeah, you? Hymnary.org. <laughs> I don't and, use it completely. I no, use, no, but I don't either. I mean, it ha it has. I think it is even has the lectionary in it too, doesn't it? Uh, you can actually actually you can search hymns by lectionary. You go into lectionary, hit lectionary, yeah. hit the Sunday you want, and it'll give you the passages. Yeah. And then give you what hymns go with that. The, yeah, that's on in the back of the hymn book. And it has our hymn insert. book in it. Yeah. Mm, you're right. Right. So if you if you select our hymn book there. I think I've got that. I think I've got CCLI Top 100 or something like that. Okay. Songs. Sure. And then you go up to hit, um, it's not 
first off, I selected him, but there's two, two, two things on the upper right side I can see on the bottom one, selected text or whatever, you hit that, and it will just sort yours out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see, that's where you look at something and go, how come the one I wanted to sing is not in here? Yeah. And you realize our hymn books must have going, yeah. really? Okay. Or look at uh, the battle belongs to the Lord, and it'll bring up all three verses. Hmm. But our hymn book only has two. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I found is different is that sometimes it brings up a page from our hymn book and shows that, at which point I can trust the words <laughs> on the thing. And sometimes it brings up just a reference to the words, and you're going, okay, i got to pull the hymn book out and look at it, make sure yeah. they're the same ones. Uh, because sometimes the end I have been changed to yours and you and little things like that. So it's not bad, just it's just a choice. It's an editorial mm -hmm. choice. Um, so, but it works out really well. It's a really good source for, um, I, I don't like picking hymns. That's probably the, the biggest downfall I had in, in prepping sermons for the longest time mm -hmm. is having to choose three freaking hymns a day a week. Mm -hmm. You know, and it wasn't quite, it wasn't quite guard at the board. But when I got here, Harold left behind a uh, hymn book with dates written in the corners of every time he'd used a hymn. Oh. Yeah. It's so much easier to turn that into a... That was Harold's, not my mother's? Okay. No, that's what Harold's. It was in the office. I think they okay. both did it. But, actually. you know, I mean, that's that's really good. But, you know, how easy it is to put that in a spreadsheet? And when you when you do your, your uh, my, my Google Sheets, when you go back in, you go, when did I do the hymn last? You go, function, the number, number sign, the number. Mm -hmm. And it sorts out, oh, oh, no, I did that three weeks ago. I can't do that one again. I could, but I'm not going to. You know, look at this one. I said, I haven't done this in three years. Yeah, that's a good time to use it. And then you do it, and you need to understand why you did yeah, it in yeah. because it's not a tune anybody knows. Or it's so high that nobody can sing <clears throat> it. Or, yeah. or those unison ones. <sighs> yeah. yeah, I would love to be able to sing unison again so I can get above the C, but I'm not there yet. Um, so that, those are really good. I mean, those are some really good sources for, for the worship, for the bulletin part of it, because... You summed it up. It's not just a speech. That's not just a sermon. There is a whole stuff that goes with it. Uh, I I hate the people that talk about worship and teaching as if it's two different things. Mm. And so you have a worship set, which is 45 minutes of music, and then you have teaching, which is 45 minutes of teaching. No, 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 it doesn't go that way. It is all called worship, mm -hmm. which involves praising God, confession, prayers to God, and hearing his word. It's all part of that. It's a big picture thing. Um, I I love the EPC Church. Compared to my predecessor, it is just like night and day. But there are sometimes I look at stuff. And if you're watching this and you're a EPC leader, I'm retired. Good luck. <laughs> um, it just make me look at it and go, it's still a bureaucracy. Sure. Yeah. God loves them. They're beings. still a bureaucracy. Oh, no, I know they're human beings, but they're still a bureaucracy. They're a bureaucratic company. And the only difference between them and the PC, well, one of the only difference between them and the PCUSA is the PCUSA is more intentionally diverse. Right. We're a bunch of old, old white men, <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, we are. I mean, you, you, I'm sorry, you go to GA and you have, yeah. I mean, right now, today, they're closing up a past a service with a bunch of old white guys. Pretty much. With an app. Who read, who read PowerPoint slides. <laughs> never read, going to GA. never read, I, I was, it was this week. Yeah, I, I didn't even. Time-wise and, and trying yeah. to. I was prices. reminded of it last night. The app opened up on my phone. Oh, yeah, I noticed that too. Oh. Is there an EPC app for uh, from the pre from 2019? Oh, for general selling. So they they okay. when they had, updated it, they sent you the new. I had it had incomplete feeds. It didn't have their schedule, but they did have some people's notes that said, "Hey, greeting from 2022." Yeah, so and so mm. is speaking at this point. It was like, it had, like they'd entered something maybe into a different database, a different table. God, and I was just like, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd hope to go to, um, and visit Tom afterward, but it was... The, <laughs> life happens. When they had it, when they had it at sunset, the, uh, the Wi-Fi broke down because they didn't go in and reset the, reset the modem. Sure. And so, you know, I mean, you got everybody in the world using one or two devices there, and suddenly... 
256 yeah. users. It's just like, <laughs> clip, yeah, blip. <laughs> so, so you have to go and hit three reset. So one time I was sitting there going, hmm. I walked over to the office and said, do you know where the router is? Yeah. Hit the red button on it. Why? Because nobody can get on the internet. Really? Yeah. Or we're fine. Really? I said, because you're on a different router. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so you hit the red button and suddenly you're not on the internet again. Yay. For nobody. All right. Just, you just have to love a thing like, you know, and if Bob Coleman hadn't told me about that, I would have never known. Yeah. I'd have been griping and moaning about him and stuff, but when my, he said, yeah, if that happens, this is what's happened is you lost all your bandwidth because you're all full and it's all junk sitting in your stuff. So you got to turn it off and start it again. Convergence, 2040. It's going to happen, I guarantee. Convergence, in what it sense? It means we're all going to, the co computer, computers are going to take over in 2040. Well, there's Ascension one in Google. You realize <laughs> you're recording this, too. You do realize that um, that's, that that's, will not include our nuclear facilities. Trust me, I roll my eyes when I see this. I mean, I watched, I saw four people talking about this guy and going, he's a crack. <laughs> you got fired for him. Sure. I will say that, uh, but I, you know, our, our nuclear facilities are safe, our weapons, because they use floppy drives. So It's very easy to isolate you know? these. It's just a piece, of, it's a toaster. It's a oh, toaster. It's air gap. I mean, but but it's air gap because of the technology. Yeah. It's air gap because only... they, they have phone lines. And they have floppy drives. The Transformer eight inch only, floppy drives. Only the okay. Transformer, only the Transformer movies have the overspark. Otherwise, well, you know, yeah, it's like war games. You know, it's like, or, yeah. yeah, yeah. Although I still would never trust a company that named itself Skynet. Okay, I mean, there was, there was a, I think it was a Christian broadcast thing like that satellite one you were a part of. Mm. It was called Skynet. At one point, I thought, I think I've changed my name. I was thinking, yeah. I was thinking that's just not a good marketing tool. <laughs> Although it's great for evangelism, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> are you going to preach yeah, they, on that? Shall we preach on that? <clears throat> work through. Well, they only launched, or not launched, they, they wanted to launch their own satellite. Uh huh. And they, uh, in the meantime, they leased space on, Man, on another waited. satellite, and it was only accessible really from half the country. Man, yeah. if they waited around till today, they could have launched their satellites oh. dirt cheap, man. No. Yeah. Shoot, I. You know, we've got like. Like at least forty a week going up. Oh yeah, and that's not counting Skylake. Deb, your broadcast. No, I'm de I'm saying I say we when we oh, mean people. U.S. Yeah, not just her company. But I mean, yeah, I mean Skylake. Okay, the the internet set, mm -hmm. which is great, but it doesn't do five G. <laughs> Oops, let's bring them all back down, and re reassess them. Mm -hmm. Let's not bring them back. Let's just bring them down and have a beautiful light show for uh, for an evening. <laughs> it's probably the best thing to do, actually, is a little burn up and done. But yeah. Um, so, um, what else? A lot of them are small enough that it's it would that would be nice. Yeah, it would just be a beautiful mm -hmm. light. So then you could send up ones that do five G. But you get them associated fixed just in time six G comes up. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, if I were doing well, it, that's how much minimize the the space trash up there. It'd be nice because there's a lot. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. Any questions you have at this point? Uh, we're going to have an, another session in two weeks. Two weeks or four weeks? Whenever, whenever you want. I just need to, need to know so I can make sure I'm off that Saturday. Uh, let's or say I'm, four weeks. weeks. Oh. Because, huh? Why not two weeks? Okay. Well, because some people are still out of town that week. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we check with people and yeah, see we'll, what works. we'll put up another and then we'll take this recording and hand it off to them to the people who couldn't make it but they've got something to look at yep and we will hand these out to them and you want well, to maybe we can have a hard copy link to have whether we want to have them on the site and we can link in the in the video well we'll put, i would we'll, do it individual i just did yeah. individuals. okay all right i think that there's too much yeah there's one nice thing about you can put things up places and I can put the, I can squirrel things away. <laughs> uh, the thing about it is, is the good news about YouTube is um, they're not going to tell people my, where my stuff is, so I don't care. Basically, if you want somebody to look at a sermon, you want to let them know. I, at, some, at some point when we're more mature, like maybe three years, we can work on a, on a YouTube ministry, but for now... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, th I think there's actually some stuff I posted, like the Centennial... Yeah, mm -hmm. stuff and all a different channel uh, for YouTube, so I can we can get that together. Maybe put them all together. Right? Yeah, 
clean up some sites for YouTube, give them some things. Yeah, but so we don't even need to. We don't need to worry about YouTube promo, uh, promoting. You know, uh, what is the what's the web promotion um, terminology? I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, we do it. We do our own marketing. We do our own distribution of links. I mean, if you want to get on cards and hand it out to people, say, yeah. hey, go, go watch some old videos. Well, and the it's thing is, that it's not like if we retire and move to Sri Lanka, right? It's not like I can't get on the net web and give you the addresses for this stuff. Correct. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to come snail mail, mm -hmm. or even a three hundred baht modem like right. Ooh, uh, Clark did for uh, two thousand one. Arthur C. Clark was that it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did he do that? He was in Sri Lanka or somewhere over there. And he, he, wrote in that. Sri Lanka, yeah. he wrote that on a 300 bond motor, sent by 300 bond motor. A chapter at a time, I think, yeah, which, yeah, which yeah. helped, but still, you know. Then again, it's just text. Yeah. It's text. And it was it, just it, text. It, I mean, it was it was literally just text. It was not right. a word document. It was. Yeah. I read the biography of uh, Piers Anthony, mm -hmm. who talked about his. Because he really embraced computers in the, um, oh well, no, he he had a like a Wang, Wang, he had a Wang a microcomputer mm -hmm. in the se late seventies, so he I mean he yeah. had other he had a oh excuse me <coughs> the word processor he had yeah. a word right. processor I think it was Wang yeah Wang or oh, there Burroughs, there, yeah. Burroughs or something like that he had so he and he went through various things and he even talks about his. Uh, his backup process and how he maintained all of his files. Mm. The man has a great sense through. of humor. Huh? The man has a great sense of humor. Uh, very dad. I mean, if you, <laughs> mm. I mean, you know, you gotta love, you gotta love puns. I'm sorry. He was. Uh, Any resemblance to? I liked to, uh, a lot of his stuff, but I couldn't read. To get to the tenth or eleventh book in Xanth. You like, have to read about five and then take a break. It's like yeah. it's like a sugar overload. You can turn that thing off. We're going to close it for off camera so we can talk about you all. <laughs>